Hey guys, what's up? This is Elvin Mark. Welcome back to the studio with another sketchbook tour. I believe this is sketchbook tour number five. Let's get to it. Different cover because I'm using a Dora Art watercolor pad from China, 24 sheets, 200 GSM, 16 centimeters by 24 centimeters. This one says Zhong Chu Wen, meaning uh, medium coarse grain. So let's begin with this sketchbook. By the way, as always, at the end of finishing this sketchbook, I would always use Pentel brush sign pen twins to fill up bits and nuggets of uh, what I remembered from doing the sketch. It makes it a bit more colorful. So here we go. Start date of this would be on the 14th of July. And back here at my favorite massage place at Nex. And uh, training home on the NEL line or the Northeast line. Um, and this was another train sketch. I sketch whenever I can. My sketchbooks are always with me so that whenever I get pockets of time, I make sure I'm practicing my art. And this is passing by Snap Cafe at Amoy when it's not so crowded weeks after the opening date and I'm just going in to enjoy a coffee and a black sesame cheesecake crumble. This is at Huck's Coffee, also at the Amoy area. And this was around 4 p.m. in the afternoon, so you can see office workers coming in for their coffee break. But it's just a pleasant place to sketch in. And like I mentioned before, I love the vibes at Huck's Coffee. And this is right next to it, City Donut and Cafe. I have been passing by that and I've always seen this through the windows, the matcha mochi chiffon witch. And I've always said to myself, I need to sketch it. And so one day I just made it happen. It's not too sweet, a dessert. So that was quite pleasant for an afternoon after lunch. So yeah, more commuters on the blue line. I was invited for a gala fundraiser dinner for a painting that I did, which was auctioned off. And this was the band T-Vox that was providing amazing music for the evening. More train rides. And this is obviously not a train ride. This is over in the Tanjong Paga area, right at the Duxton Plain. It's called the Duxton Plain Park. It's this strip along where the Duxton Pinnacle is. On weekends, especially on Sunday mornings, you'd find groups doing exercises. This group or clan or association was practicing their Qigong. So that was nice to sketch and draw. The Good Burger set up Gourmet Park at Resorts World and invited me for their opening day. It's a whole eating area just right outside Universal Studios with food carts, food trucks, and they have an array, a variety of eateries. And I was able to sample because on that opening day, they were serving up bite-sized chunks, so that was really easy. There was Bank My Dough, I had Luke's Lobster Roll, uh, there was also this pulled mushroom from Lavi Taco, and of course I tried a Barcelona by Keak and Olivia Market. Keak and Olivia Market. I think there were a few other goodies that I tried, bite size, didn't have time to sketch it, um, but it was a really good opening event, so I hope that more tourists and local visitors would patronize the shops over there. So this is back at the Duxton Plain, uh, sketching people practicing the Wushu, Qigong, also Dragon Dance or Lion, or, or practicing the Lion Dance. And before I could continue with more sketches, suddenly the weather turned on me and began to rain. This is back on the train. And this is over at Chinatown Complex where the big square is right in front of the Buddha Tooth Relic. Every evening or Saturday, Sunday evening, there would be a group of people doing line dancing. 
there would be I would also notice visitors from overseas joining in this dance event that is open and it's free. Um, unfortunately, I was speaking to the lady in charge. She was telling me that that was the last weekend there. They would have to relocate to another place which the town council had given them and said that what they were doing wasn't culturally befitting to the Chinatown atmosphere. I'm definitely against that statement because they were inviting tourists. They were an open group, anyone could come in, even the tourists could come in and join them. So this square on a regular day or evening would be quiet, just filled with tourists taking pictures at the square, but this makes the difference. It makes it come alive. Oh well, hopefully they would be granted permission to come back here once a new team is formed and a new grassroots or town council team is formed and they're a bit more open to events like that and who are also able, a team who is also able to see the potential that such activities can harness. And this is at Spank My Dough. They called me in to do a project. I was sketching their donuts, but I haven't heard from them since. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm on the brown line. I think I started sketching this because of this little kiddo. Little kiddo. Um, and it just, yeah, just started going on and on. So uh, it was a long ride on the train, so I was able to sketch more people. And uh, over at Lazy Lizards on their opening day, I met Sid, this performer, for this evening. He was really talented. Also found out much later on his Instagram that he's also an actor and comedian. And this is at Friday's Garden. Remember the flower painting that I did? Or um, so I had done, the, I had done this demo of the still life. Uh, provided by Friday's Garden over at the Singapore Expo for AV8 and uh, basically the, there was, this is visiting Friday's Garden with some sketches to sketch the insides of this amazing florist over in the central area of Singapore. Speaking of which, Urban Sketches meet at Bishan Park for, a, for, for an end of the month gathering. And uh, this was a lovely scene from the park. Um, also, there was a McDonald's in there, so I went in to, to capture one of the staff making soft serve ice cream. Also, many people could bring their pets to Bishan Park, and I saw a few parrots and parakeets on that day too, so I definitely have to have them in this sketchbook. And this was the panorama. I uh, remember we only had like 15 minutes left, so I decided, okay, let's let's do this sketch of the scene in front of me. And more sketches on the train. So um, this is back at City Donut at Amoy. And uh, this was really interesting how this is decorated. It's called Nanyang Coffee. So it has this local coffee flavor and with an actual coffee seat on it. And guess what? When I took a bite out of this, it wasn't sweet at all. So perfect for another afternoon tea break. And this is at Fat Queen. This is at Fat Queen Cooks. Um, it's a dessert called the Pomelo Mango Sago. And I, this is only a one layer drawing of this dessert because there was no time. Yes, unfortunately. So, hi to the brown line. And I was heading over to next for a well-deserved massage. Had a meal over at Don Don Donkey. And this one over here, Sen Sen, um, allows you, it's it's a restaurant within Don Don Donkey, this Japanese shop that this Japanese retail that has food and all sorts of stuff from Japan. You really feel like you're in Japan when you're in at Don Don Donkey. They have this restaurant called Sensen and basically you can pick whatever you like and they will make the sushi fresh. So it almost feels like being 
in a sushi uh, in a premium sushi restaurant. I love it. So I bought a ticket for Windstrong Duo performing at the Katong Antique House. It's been a while since I visited, so I went there and they were playing nostalgic songs. And it was a two-piece concert, clarinet and harp. And the composer of the tunes is Zhang Yi. So I've also noticed more tourists on board my commutes lately. So glad that the world is beginning to open up again ever since the big sea. And uh, we're seeing all sorts of people coming to visit our small little island state. Yes, and this is another train ride during peak hour. And this is visiting three meals a day just right before the school term reopens. So it's really quiet. I noticed that this term, because my lunch break is during 12 to 1, this place is virtually packed. I can't even step in here. So it was great that I managed to visit it before the school term reopened. This is at the new toast box over at Bras Passat that took over this music shop so I, I can see remnants of that music shop because they were gracious and nice enough to retain paraphernalia from the former music shop. And this is USK meeting up on this very extra special session or sketching activity during National Day. And yes, we were at the Marina Bay sketching. And uh, this was security right by the Esplanade on National Day. This is Losang. They just opened and they are the creators of Mama Tiam, this speakeasy place that I went to. If you have not been there, click on this link for that video. Well, this is on the second floor and that's why it's called Loushang or the upper floor and they are literally sitting above and it is a cafe or a restaurant bar that is decorated to look like a HDB flat. Even the entrance looks like a HDB lift area. Um, they were serving tea uh, with beautiful teacups so I decided to make that sketch. More train sketches. And uh, this is sketching Nat during a session at Fat Queen Cooks, who was sketching me. Uh, more train sketches, and uh, time for a haircut over here. Uh, and you can see from the fleeting lines that I've used on this sketch that I didn't have to wait long before it was my turn. Props at Fat Queen Cooks. You you must be wondering why am I doing this. Fat Queen Cooks thing at strange intervals. It's only because um, the main sketch is over here, but um, I've turned back to find empty spots from the sketchbook that I could actually throw things from that session. So this is back at Donkey having a crab piece and some tuna gungan. And yes, Studio Ghibli decides to collaborate with Uniqlo again um, on their apparel and they have created this big thing dioramas and balloons huge balloons um, and even a cosplay of Yubaba and stamps that you can go around collecting all over at Bugis Plus such fun for a Studio Ghibli fan and yes so we are here at Fat Queen Cooks I had a uh, bokulot that was served with toast bread and laksa just because of the color and uh, burger dill as a filler, pot fried potatoes and the table was so colorful that I decided that it needed to go into the sketchbook also and this is a coffee stall old school one at the NTUC Learning Hub all the way at Jukun because I was there for a course. Uh, some machines that I sketched because it is where my course is at. I made some more sketches over at... So remember, sketchbooks have some simpler flat ends. These are a bit more coarse and 300 GSM. So the, the stems don't look as solid. I had to ink it in. Here are just more stems from the Studio Ghibli show. 
these were two kids they were probably i'm guessing 10 years old they were on the train they're probably visitors and they were giggling and laughing and i decided to get them on this sketch and this brings us to yet another end of my sketchbook tour thank you so much for joining me this was sketchbook tour number five let's continue to keep on sketching and getting our practices in our sketchbooks thank you for joining me thank you for all your support and encouraging words always on this channel i'm gonna find more time to put these down so keep cheering me on this is alvin mark until the next episode ciao ciao Thank you.